Good morning everyone, it's Lucinda here at Pete Wildlife Park. So you are joining us, it's Tuesday, which means it's time for another how to train your video. So today we're back in with our lemurs. So this will be our second session with our lemurs. Um, if you've not watched any of these videos before, we started at the beginning of the year, we started with four of our animals. They sort of have had a new year's resolution um, and we picked a training thing that we were going to do with each of the four animals so last week it was our alpacas and they do some agility um, and hopefully by the end of the year they'll be doing some agility um, so the second week is with our lemurs so that's where we are again this week next week will be I'm trying to remember off the top of my head I know we've got some goat training so I think that's next week and then we are with our zebras the week after that so yeah, so it's training Tuesday, how to train a lemur. So Liz is just over with Olive at the moment, one of our black and white rough lemurs. So we'll go over in a second and see what she's up to and see how they've been getting on since last time. So like I've said in these videos previously, this training that we're doing here, um, we're gonna sort of tell you guys how you can use it at home on your animals as well so if you've got cats and dogs at home you can do a bit of training whilst you're in lockdown with those um, so these the basics of training that we are using and that we're going to be working around with our animals here is pretty much the same as what you guys can use at home um, so we've got clicker training target training and different things like that so if you have any questions if you've had a go please let us know if you've had a go with your animals at home let us know how you're getting on if you're running into any problems um, then give us a shout write a message on the comments and we can try and help you out a little bit um, I know it's very difficult because every single animal is different but if we can help we will try our best to help so as I make my way over, I'll say good morning to a few people. So good morning to Jane and Fiona. Good morning to Meg, Sarah, Megs, Irene, who is a supporter. So thank you so much for supporting us, Irene. Um, hi to Chris and Laura. Hi to Nicola and Amy and Isabel and Laura. If you guys want a shout out as well this morning, um, then pop your name into the comments box and we'll give you a shout out as well. So good morning to Rob and baby Albert. I'm pretty sure you guys are regular watchers. So thank you very much for watching. Good morning to Michael and Teresa. Good morning to Lizzie. Good morning to Maggie and Emma and Danielle. Thank you so much for joining. So make sure you pop your name in the comments below. Give us a little wave. Um, let us know you're watching, let us know what you're up to and like I say, if you've had a little go of training yourselves then also let us know, it um, be really nice to let, let us know what you guys are up to at home as well so I'll spin you around, we're trying to get Olive out of the trying to get Olive out of the house at the minute I think I took a little bit of time for my intro, sorry she was out but now she's snuck back inside So Liz has got some really tasty treats, so hopefully she will come out for them. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's very cold and snowy though. <laughs> Maybe that can tempt her over. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so how have you been getting on since last time, Liz? <laughs> so as these guys new year's resolution obviously we decided to pick a training with these guys um what exactly is our hopeful like our end goal with these guys so what are we hoping to achieve um, so we're hoping to get them fully crate trained um so we started yeah, started with the target training to get them to follow us around and then the aim is to be able to target them into a crate um so that if if it ever happened that we need to take them to the vets, um, we are able to get them into a crate um, completely stress-free. So that is the ultimate goal. Hopefully we'll never need to get them into a crate to take them to the vets, but it's really good to um, have them, from their choice, walking into a crate without us having to restrain them at all. Because <clears throat> that's very stressful for us and for the animals. So yeah, end goal is to get them just going into a crate, allowing us to shut the door and just, just being quite comfortable in there. 
Um, now it is very cold this morning, so yeah, <laughs> hopefully it'll come, come out. Um, but we do have Ty as well, um, so we can get Ty out see if she wants to do some. Yeah. You're peeking your head out. So as you can see, we've got a target here. So this is what we were doing in our first session as well. So the aim is to get the lemur to go up to the target and touch the nose on the target. Um, not to grab it, just touch it with their nose. And then they'll get a reward for that. So what Liz is doing here, she's just reinforcing that target training. Um, obviously Olive is a bit she doesn't really want to come outside so we can just reinforce the target training and have a little go with Ty for the next step. So speaking of that Liz, what is your next step going to be? Um, if they've been doing really successfully with their target training, what's your next step now? then eventually is getting them to go into the crate so they do know what a crate is we've had crates in here before so um two of our ring tailed lemurs alan and mary our eldest two are actually in the process of being crate trained they're quite far along they've both been going in and out um really good now so they do know what the crate is so they shouldn't be too wary of it which is getting them used to being around it and not associating it with something bad like going to the vet it's getting them used to it being a good thing because they get lots of nice treats <laughs> she is thinking about it. <laughs> She's not daft. She is going to sit in the window, just do it as minimal as possible. So we'll try and see if she'll come out. If not, we'll, uh, we'll see if Ty wants to have a go. Come on, Olive. <laughs> Star of the show. So if you guys wanted to try and do this at home, um, you can use anything as a target, um, anything you sort of want. We've got here just a piece of wood with a play ball on the end of it. So a kid's, it's from our indoor play, so just a ball pit ball that's been screwed onto the end. So try and use the same thing um, don't swap it around so the animal can then associate with that item as that's the target that they've got to touch. So you can use anything at home. You can even use your hand. So you can get your dogs or cats to target to your hands. Sorry, am I distracting you, Olive? <laughs> Just doing a bit too much effort this morning, I think. Yeah. So, and then we've also got a clicker as well. So once she does touch the target, um, the way we want her to, we will click, and then she'll get a reward straight away. Or touching the target. We'll sit here with Olive. Hi, Olive. So Olive is one of our black and white rough lemurs. Hi, gorgeous. Good girl. You're not daft, are you? I w if I was given the choice, I'd definitely sit inside today. I would not want to come outside. Not in the snowy weather. Although it looks very beautiful. Olive has the right idea of looking through a window. So I'll say hi to a few more people that have joined us. Say hi to Wendy and Laura. Hi to Simon and Beverly and Rose. Good morning to Stace and Brenda and Zoe. Good morning to Kim and Rochelle, Lauren, Leanne and Kata. Thanks so much for joining this morning. Give us a wave if you are watching. Good morning to Kim. So put a little wave emoji or just say good morning into the comments box below. And like I said before, if you've got any questions about the training, if you guys do want to use it at home, um, then just pop it into the comments below and we'll try and explain how you guys can use these little tips and tricks at home. So they are really handy, so it's really useful, like Liz says, so we're aiming for the crate training 
um, just so if we need to move these animals for any reason, whether that's to the vets, moving them around the collection, different things like that, then it's just um, much less stressful if they want to go into the crate themselves and they know they can just wander in and it's all okay. So hi to Isaac and Henry, hi to Lottie and Louise and Anita as well. It's very sunny here. So I think Ty is also making, just running around the enclosure now. She's been let out. She's just taking a look around, making sure everything's as it should be from yesterday. So good morning to Christine and Sarah. Good morning to Rebecca and Rachel. Thanks so much for watching this morning, guys. So I'll spin you back around. So she's just making her way back over. So we've got our crate here. So this is what Liz is gonna do. So she's just gonna get um, Ty used to the crate being in the enclosure and just do some training exercises, do some target training around the crate to get her really used to it. So it's nothing to be afraid of. Um, that it's just something that's part of the enclosure. It's not gonna change at all. So actually we've got our sheep coming over as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, in. so she's very inquisitive, <laughs> wants to have a look straight away. No targeting <laughs> <laughs> So she's just doing it all on her own anyway, so which is great. She's just it at the moment, so she's just claiming it as hers. <laughs> well done, Ty. Good morning from Jensen and George. Thank you for joining us. So that was actually really positive. And Ty just went up to the crate all on her own. Just taking a look at it. So. Claiming it as her own. You really well though. Jill, you can have a carrot. Oh, we're eating carrot now, that's good. <laughs> good girl, so she's doing really well here, guys. So she's not bothered by the crate at all. She actually is loving the crate that much. <laughs> yeah. She's warning everybody else away from the crate. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> you never know what to expect when we introduce like, the crate to the animals. Hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is super positive that she's very comfortable with it. No, oh, not impressed with the fire at all. She might get a little bit distracted. It is first thing in the morning, so um, she kind of wants to let everyone know that she's awake, she's about. So Fiona's just saying she didn't realise they made that noise. <laughs> it is very loud if you are very close. <laughs> Hi. 
So she's working towards that goal really well. So obviously she almost went into the crate all on her own when she came over to first take a look at it. Yeah, so it's super positive. As I said, this is the first time that we've brought the crate in, into the training. So the fact that she's really comfortable being around it is... She's actually now just sunbathing, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she's just sun decided to sunbathe on the hill. <laughs> Hi! Hi. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uninterested in training. It's sunbathing morning. God, don't we know? It doesn't always oh no! Like <laughs> <laughs> the saying has never worked with animals and children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So hopefully she'll come back over. Um, but what would sort of be, so now obviously we've got the crate in here, you're gonna get used to that. What will be your next step after that? So what are you hoping? For our next, I know I'm very, I'm being very hopeful here, <laughs> yeah. but what are you hoping for our next training video? So in a month's time, what are you hoping that I'm you'll be able to do? That we are at a stage where she's fully going into the crate. Whether we can have the door closed or not, I'm not sure if we'll get to that stage in a month. But getting her going in the crate, maybe staying in it for five, ten seconds, that would be really positive. Um, and then it be moving to shut the door and here not freaking out. Hopefully she's going in the crate, sitting there, and quite comfortably. Um, but as I said, we have done crate training with um, Mary and Alan, our older ring tails, and they picked up really fast and they both have sat in it with the door closed. So they're doing absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm sure Kyle will get to that stage. She just gets very distracted. So how many sessions would you sort of say that you're doing a week um, between the keepers? How many sessions would you say? So It's a bit harder at the moment because we've got so much to do with being closed. There's a lot to do still, so um, possibly not as much as we would if we were open and we had a lot more staff. But yeah, the aim is at least three or four times. Um, anything after that is a big bonus. Um, but obviously we are doing a lot of training with a lot of the animals at the moment. So we're trying um, to get a lot of training plans um, being carried out. It's quite fun, but... As you can see, it is completely up to the animals. <laughs> so Ty has just disappeared. Not quite sure where she's gone. I think she's gone around to the front of the house. <laughs> the sun is out quite the first time in ages. So I think she's straight Catch her sunbathing. Oh, no. So she's actually decided to come back now. Almost fell over then, guys. That would have been not good. <laughs> so, hi to Liz, Sarah, Tina, Annalise, Janet, Pam, Kelly. Hi to Linda and Graham. Graham saying that he is sat in a warm house nursing a very poorly <laughs> chameleon so sorry about that we hope he gets very we hope he gets better soon but thank you for watching i hope he's enjoying this little live video so completely on her terms as you can see liz is just reinforcing that target training and we're a little bit closer to the crate every single time so now she's jumped back over on it onto it so what the aim here is is just to make the um, crate just become part of the environment so anytime they see the crate they just they don't really associate it with anything at all um, but more so positive so they just see it as part of the environment and they just want to go over <laughs> you coming back? Bye. Come on. Come on then, Ty. so strong this way. Spin round. <laughs> you can see she's following the target really well so I can hold it quite far away. She's all 
<laughs> she's realised she's not going to get anything else. It's much sunnier this side as well, so I think she keeps coming back to this side to get a little bit warm. <laughs> We've actually got our ringtail sunbathing in the window. <laughs> so we just keep them inside when they have the breakfast, so they will be coming out and um, once they've eaten. <laughs> sunbathing through yeah, the window, not bothered. <laughs> So will you be letting these guys straight out after this session, Zuba? Yeah. Maybe we'll wait, guys. Yeah. So we'll wait and see if the ringtails want to come out. They might do some sunbathing this morning. So it'd be very cute. Yeah, so I can, I'll tell you what, I'll let them out now. Because I think Kai <laughs> is more interested in sunbathing. So you can see she's got her belly um, out towards the sun which is fair enough. So she's not very into the session. So what I'll do is I'll try and chuck a handful of the food that I've got up as the her jackpot reward to signal, okay, the session's over. Um, she has done really well though, considering she's not been introduced to the crate in the sessions before. I'm really happy that she's got it on the crate. She's quite comfortable. So it's definitely a successful session, even if it was quite short, it's um, been really positive. So I'll try and get one more target off it and chuck some food. Target! This is going to be unlucky. This is a snow knife. Can I target? Just preserve some snowballs for training sessions. <laughs> Why don't you do one more target? <laughs> there we go, see that's <laughs> just signalling the end of the session. There you go, she's got some nice tasty carrots that she can munch on. So and then we'll let the other guys out so you guys can see them. So hopefully they'll do some sunbathing. But saying that, now the sun has gone in. <laughs> so hi to Sarah, Alan, Kirsty and Sally who have joined us as well. So Ty's just finished her training session so we are going to let the other guys out, see if they want to come out this morning. Hopefully the sun will come out very soon and they'll start doing some sunbathing. So we've got our sheep in here as well. Wondering what's happening this morning. A very noisy little sheep. I know. <laughs> They're coming out to see what's going on. Whoa! <laughs> this is Ernie. I bet a lot of you know Ernie. And a few of these live people said they've adopted Ernie, so here he is. Um, and then we've also got Rufus at the front and Bramble. So there are two red bellied lemurs. Um, absolutely gorgeous, these guys are. <laughs> See if we can get any of these guys to target. Oh, you distracted. No, we're not grabbing. Ernie. So Carrie's saying hello, Ernie. She's a <laughs> one of our supporters as well, so thanks very much for that. <laughs> so I thought the sun was going to be out, so these guys would sunbathe. But the sun has now gone in, I'm afraid. But it still means that you can get a closer look at these guys as they're poking their heads out the window. <laughs> so who have we got here, Liz? So we've got Ernie, we've got Tom, who just went in. 
Um, got Rufus here, got Bramble. So it's normally the youngsters that'll come out. The older ones are thinking it is way too cold. So that's Tom. So Tom was one of our pups that was born last March, so in the first lockdown. So he's coming up to a year old now. And then Primrose just here. It was the other pup that we had born. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> My primrose has got the cutest little beard and you can see oh under God. her mouth. Oh, they can taste the grape on my gloves. <laughs> Whoa, are you taking the phone? So I think we'll leave it there for today, guys. <laughs> So these guys are coming in and out. Hopefully the sun will come out again and they can do some sunbathing. But thank you so much for watching. And we will have our next live on Friday. So join us again for that. Um, and we can't wait to see you all. I'm getting absolutely covered in lemurs this morning. <laughs> come on. So thank you to Liz as well. Thank you for your training Very session, much. including us. Best of luck over the next month. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys.